Today we will talk about the Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Enterprise and Mavic 3 Classic. They have all inbuilt panorama functions. The problem is that the gimbal goes up to plus 20 degrees and not more, even if the gimbal can go up with all these aircrafts at plus 35 degrees. Now how we can add plus 35 degrees images into our panoramas. I will show this in this video. In this video we will also see how we can fix the Zenith with Affinity Photo 2. For this method I don't use any Zenith shots from the ground, it's all made in the sky. I will show you in detail how we can do that. First of all we need to understand how the internal DJI Mavic 3 panorama function works. We can see on this image with the XML creator how the images were taken with the Mavic 3. So it goes up to maximum plus 20 degrees pitch angle and we have a big hole in the sky where we have no images. I showed you in the videos before how we can take five sandy shots from the ground but we will not do that in this video, we will only work into the sky with the Mavic 3. We can see here the final result of a shooting with the internal panorama function from DJI Mavic 3. You can see the difference here. When the internal function from the Mavic 3 finished, I add in the sky at plus 35 degree pitch angle four other images each image at 90 degrees in each direction of the horizon. You can use the compass wheel to orient the yaw angle of the aircraft in the air to have always 90 degrees between the shots. If we add four shots at plus 35 degrees, you can see here the difference. We get quite a lot into the sky. Let's see in the next step how we can fill the hole into the sky from the Zenith with Affinity 2. First we load our stitched uh, image into Affinity 2. Now we have this view and we have to change to the spherical view. So we go to layers and change into a spherical view. You can see it's uh, quite fast. In Affinity 2 and now we are in the 3D edit mode. Then we choose the square in the sky and that's the, the hole we will fill with intelligent functions from Affinity 2. We can also change the view angle. I choose 85 degrees and now we have to select this square. So we take the wizard, select the square. Now we will change the size of this square. Make sure that you are at 0% tolerance if you choose this square. And now we will change the size of this square. You can see it online here what happens if we increase for example for 300 pixel. So I will choose about 150 or 180 pixels. And now we can fill this square with the in-painting intelligent function. First it becomes white, then it turns into black. And now we have filled our square. It's quite amazing what we can do it in Affinity 2. So we have nothing to do further on this. It's quite a good quality for the Zenith. Now we are no longer into the spherical view. When we uh, choose here a function to edit the image, it will automatically change to a normal view. And if we will go back to the spherical view, we have to do it. First I will unselect the square and then I go back to the live view 
So now we are back into the spherical view. We can turn the image and we can see the zenith is filled. Now I will add an RDL logo at minus 90 degrees. We can choose it here to be precise at minus 90 degrees and then I will insert a logo. We can just drag and drop the, the image and now I can place my logo onto this view. We have uh, also here changed to the edit mode, we cannot move the image. We have first to, to fix, to put here down the Nardier logo. We can see that we have here two layers. If we will go back to the spherical view, we have to fix this view to this view. To do so, we go back to the layer menu and we will put together these two layers. Now we have one layer and if we go back to the live projection, we can see that we have fixed now the Nadia logo to the spherical view. If you like to check the details from your panorama, we can change the view angle and we can go deep into the panorama view. So here you can see the quality of the Mavic 3. Now, if you like to export the final image, we have to change from the live view to the original uh, projection. So I will delete the live view and we'll go back to the original image size. Now you can see we have the final image 360, 180 degrees and we have filled the sky and we added an RDR logo. Now we can export this image to publish it for example on Facebook. If you will publish it on Facebook you have to be aware of the size of the image. Actually we have 23,000 uh, pixels per line and I recommend for uh, Facebook import 10,000 pixels per line. So you can reduce this image to import it, for example, into Facebook. Let's see another image. This image I took with the Mavic 3 Enterprise. It was my first panorama with this aircraft. I was not so precise with these four shots at plus 35 degrees with the yaw angle. For this reason I have these small triangles. But it's also possible in Affinity Photo to fix these holes. So let's see the final result of this shooting. We can see that the in-painting function from Affinity Photo 2 is really good, so we don't need to shoot any uh, sunny shots from the ground. In my next video I will show you how we can add lights into a panorama shooting with Affinity Photo 2. I created some lens flares where it's easy to use and implement into panorama views. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, thanks for watching.